this is the external nares or nostril okay. that will bring the air into the vestibule when we breathe and the vestibule is going to be lined with hairs those hairs will help to filter out large particles when we breathe air in this area right here this is the nasal cavity okay. and then we have the internal nares right here uh, this narrowing part where the air gets funneled into the pharynx okay, right there in the nasal cavity we've got three concha superior concha middle concha and then inferior concha the superior and middle nasal concha are part of the ethmoid bone and then the inferior nasal concha is a separate bone in and of itself okay. Some of the structures we can see here, underneath, if we cut a little section out of the superior nasal concha, we would be able to see these holes right here, and those holes are going to be for drainage of the posterior ethmoid sinuses. Here's our middle nasal concha, and what we've done is cut a portion of the middle nasal concha away so that you can see the structures underneath. This bump right here is called the ethmoid bulla or bulla ethmoidalis and there's a hole in the ethmoid bulla that's going to allow for drainage of the middle ethmoid sinuses this is the hiatus semilunaris and there's going to be three things that drain into here one of those things would be the maxillary sinus another thing would be the anterior ethmoid sinuses and then the third thing would be the frontal sinus. Here we can see frontal sinus here, and there's a hole that's going to connect frontal sinus to this area here. Down here, we've got the inferior nasal concha, and if we cut a little portion of that out so that we can see the hole in here, this hole is going to be for drainage of the nasolacrimal duct. Okay. That will collect tears from the medial portion of the eye and deliver those tears down into the nasal cavity. This is why our nose runs when we cry. There will be a little hole here that you can't really see, but if I put the pencil into this hole, this is going to be the opening to the sphenoid sinus. This structure right here is the opening to the auditory tube or eustachian tube. Here we've got the soft palate in the uvula, and our pharynx is going to be back here. And the pharynx is divided into three regions. Right? We've got the nasopharynx from here to here, specifically from the internal nares to the end of the soft palate. Okay. The oropharynx is going to be from the end of the soft palate down to the level of the hyoid bone. Okay. That's oropharynx. And then laryngopharynx is going to be below hyoid bone up to the vocal folds. Okay. Now, air, when it comes in, it's going to travel through this way and go down through the voice box where the vocal cords are. The voice box has a scientific name, and that's the larynx. Okay. So the air will pass through the larynx and go down into the trachea here. This portion here is the esophagus, and that's part of the digestive system. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.